Read my lips. No new taxes. I say it without boast or bravado. I fought for my country. I've served. I've built. And I'll go from the hills to the hollows, from the cities to the suburbs, to the loneliest town on the quietest street, to take our message of hope and growth for every American, to every American. I will keep America moving forward, always forward, for a better America, for an endless, enduring dream and a thousand points of light. This is my mission, and I will complete it. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me. Congratulations. Thank you. As Commander in Chief, I can report to you our armed forces fought with honor and valor. And as President, I can report to the nation aggression is defeated, the war is over. Their love was a constant in our lives. My dad is a phenomenal letter writer, and he would write mom on their wedding anniversaries, which totaled an amazing 73 years. Here's one of them written on January 6, 1994. Will you marry me? Oops, I forgot, we did that 49 years ago. I love you, precious, with all my heart, and to know that you love me means my life. Little did I know I was only trying to keep up, keep up with Bar. Barb Pierce from Onondaga Street in Rye, New York. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I've always felt I was the world's luckiest woman. Nobody ever had a greater, more precious family. Nobody ever had a better husband. 